Hello and welcome to Storytime with Hannah and Patrick. Today we will be reading Dogfish Just Be You by Rita Reed, illustrated by Craig Cartwright. So, are you sitting comfortably? Yes? Then let's begin. A booming band of whales sang as dogfish jumped out of bed with dreams of the northern lights still floating through his head. His ears wiggled and twitched as he happily travelled along following the humpback whales as they sang their whaley songs. The pod gleefully welcomed him and extended an invitation. Dogfish, will you join us on our northern migration? Dogfish happily accepted and politely requested. But will we see the Aurora Borealis? Since, since I was a pup, it's been a dream of mine to see the colourful lights dancing in the sky. <laughs> the humpbacks winked and said, Possibly. Happy and carefree, the whales breached, twisting and leaping out of the sea, landing with a crash and a huge splash. Dogfish was amazed that they were so graceful with their enormous size and gigantic tails. Dogfish wished he was a humpback whale. A little voice inside his head swirled. Never doubt yourself and keep moving forward. You have so much to offer the world. Then out of the dark, flashes of black and white and circled, giving them all a fright. The orcas played ball as they all headed north, tossing it effortlessly back and forth. Dogfish was astonished at how they threw the ball. They were so athletic! He didn't play sports at all. Dogfish wished he was an orca. Again, the voice inside his head swirled. Never doubt yourself and keep moving forward. You have so much to offer the world. They swam past Alaska and the Burring Sea. The waters were cold and very icy. As they entered the Arctic, they heard lovely sounds. A band of belugas with heads big and round. Their singing was exquisite, such a beautiful sound. Dogfish couldn't sing, he just barked and howled. Oh! Dogfish wished he was a beluga. Reminding himself again, never doubt yourself and keep moving forward. You have so much to offer the world. Smiley, silly narwhal swam into sight. Happy and hilarious, they played with delight. Dogfish admired their shiny ivory horns. Mystical and magical, the ocean's unicorns. Dogfish wished he was a narwhal. 
Whaley songs grew louder in the icy cold sea. The crowd swam faster, picking up their speed. Dogfish was tired and feeling a little blue, thinking of all the things that he just couldn't do. Oh, I, I can try to be like a humpback or the unicorns of the sea. Oh, I could be like a beluga. Hmm. But why? I am the best me I can be. Suddenly, his big fluffy ears wiggled and rotated with his supersonic hearing, distress signals were located. I want my mama! Dogfish rushed to the commotion. Baby polar bear was alone in the ocean. I, I was playing when the ice broke. Now I'm floating out to sea. Help me, please! Then, without any doubt, Dogfish kept moving forward. He pushed that huge iceberg all the way back to shore. A dream came true for that pup as he looked up. Shining bright, dancing in the sky, glowing and glistening, the Northern Lights. Never doubt yourself and keep moving forward. You have so much to offer the world. The End Well, I hope you enjoyed that, my little readers. Remember to like and subscribe to Storytime with Hannah and Patrick. We'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>